Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hey people of YouTube. I'm LP Martian 4 and welcome to Resident Evil Code Riker X. This is the HD version that was released for both PS3 and 360. I'm of course playing on a 360 as any classic Resident Evil should be played on. Those of you who have seen me stream this game before in the past, when I was originally trying to play it on 360 as well as when I got it on PS3, um, you'll know I didn't like this game when I first got it. I never actually got a chance to play the original Code Veronica or Code Veronica X because I never had a Dreamcast and never had a PS2. And I wasn't into Resident Evil at the time. And uh, when it came to actually playing it when the HD version came out, I didn't like it. Mostly due to the control scheme. I didn't like that they'd switch the action button and the run button. Fortunately now, I've gotten used to it after spending a lot of time playing it alongside Sherry Birkingale while she was here visiting. And uh, we never got the chance to complete it while she was here, so I promised her I'd do it as a let's play. And I've now finally gotten used to the control, and I'm slowly falling in love with this game. But, so, this is half blind. I've played about half the game with Sherry. Um... I've never escaped the island, I've never got to Chris's section, so that'll give you an idea on how far I've got. Fortunately, I do have a uh, strategy guide in case I need it, but I'm going to stop talking and let's start a new game. Resident Evil. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed Woo! to escape from the city. Leon Kennedy, but their for the win. was only a prelude of things to come. And of course, this was the original Three sequel to Resident Evil 2, but later became a spin-off and Nemesis became three, due to a deal with Sony, I believe. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Well, that's just Her name rude. Is Claire Redfield. Don't we hit caught a girl. her trespassing in our Paris lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. These guys can't aim for shit. Oh, that's bright. Yeah, you better run. Run, Claire, run! I'm not paying the bill for that. Wow. It's... Hey, look. Saves. I like his gun. Okay, apparently it's World War Three with those explosions outside. And umbrella didn't pay though, that's just the bill. Cheapskates. <laughs> I love this scene, the music's so game over. It's like you lost.
By the way, I equipped with a lighter, I could see outside, even though you can quite clearly see everything in that room. Let's get rid of this. I don't need no plane manual. Surprise! <gasps> he got drugs! Perfect. No, oh, he's out of drugs. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. I like his tash. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. We'll what see about, about that. What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Alright. Alright, so what are you out of? Hemostatic cap is it hemostatic or is it hemostatic? Hemostatic capsule is on the floor, it's empty. Alright, fair enough. I'm gonna take your bullets. I'm gonna take your knife. And I'll see you in a bit. See, the knife was another reason why I didn't like this game. Because uh, when I was streaming it, because I actually streamed it completely blind. I'd never played it, never seen it, nothing. Everyone was yelling at me, use the knife. But not one of them explained to me how best to use the knife. Until I read it in my strategy guide. Aim for the legs. As soon as I knew that, hey, the knife's actually useful. The amount of times I died trying to listen to people's advice because no one would explain it properly. But anyway, let's head on out and see what's happening. Ah, of course it's raining. Huh. Someone can't drive, apparently. Hmm, briefcase. Oh, dear. In Tarts and Umbrella Research Facility. <laughs> Why do people always fall over? Don't just sit there, get up! And of course we're in a graveyard! God, I him. Will you just stand up, woman? Even that guy's standing up, look. Quick, do this through the dance. I'll stop him. Get up. gets me and I couldn't get past you because your buddy on the floor stopped me get out of my way Christ oh crap again people can't aim handgun all right give it a rest That don't shoot. You just unloaded like half that machine gun on me. You're not a zombie. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Okay. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. But I thought God. you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. There's a fail and just shoot him anyway. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. 
Claire. Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! You do that again, I'm gonna shoot you in both your feet. Watch you limp. Hey, we have a handgun. It's always good. Oh, I should probably actually get my knife ready again. Alright. Yes, that's Steve. I don't like Steve. He's just annoying. I'll tell you who he reminds me of. Moira Brown. From Fallout 3. Although, he's slightly more annoying than Moira, believe it or not. Never thought I'd find a character who was more annoying than Moira. Ah, great. Good start. Alright, you're dead. Avoid. Oh, for God's sake. I'm great at hitting everything but the zombies. Right, you all dead? Good. Whoops. No, go up the stairs. Thank you. And get another green herb. That's why I don't mind using that one. I'd rather save the bullets and just try and knife them. We'll get plenty of health later. Right, more bullets. Excellent. A map that I'm probably not going to use. Alright. I've got a file here. I'm afraid I'm not going to read any of the files in case, unless I get to a file that I've not seen before. Um, I was reading them before. I actually already recorded this episode, but my PS3 crashed right at the end of it. And even the video messed up as well, so it wasn't bound to happen. But yeah, I can't be honest. Hi there. What's up? You want the bullets? Tough, they're mine. Yeah, I'm not going to read any files out and stuff. It's just not worth the effort. Oh, crap. Ooh. Guns. Gimme. 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 That's not what I was trying to do. You're cheating me, game. I did actually pick them up right. I have a nasty habit of forgetting them. Do you know what? I need to kill them. I never have to come back. Now watch out. There should be a zombie like right there. So let's get out of his way. And carry on. Did I pick up that green herb? I did. Things watching us. Oh, lovely. Oh, bye. You know what? You can keep him. I don't want him. Ah, I think I'm going to try and knife a bit again. Oh, come on. That... Really? You hit everything but the zombies. Oh, come on.
God damn it. Alright, well, at least I managed to save some bullets. Didn't go perfectly, but, you know. I still did it. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. No. Ow. Damn it. Fine, you win. There. And I'm actually going to keep um, activating the uh, security system and hopefully prevent the zombies from getting in at all. So while I think about it, actually, I'll just quickly nip back Please and close it again whilst I'm here. Items you have in the security box. Just so they don't bust through. Right. Another file. Oh, it's Chris you again. You. If you make a blood joke, I swear I'll slap you. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe wow. Me, I know. What was that all about? I think he needs his diaper changed. What's the map? Hawk emblem. Need that. I'll just grab the ink ribbons while I'm here. And this time, let's not forget to activate the switch. Because I forgot to last time. Alright. Now that emblem we're actually going to put straight on the 3D printer as obviously it's a metal item we can't actually bring it through with us. Push the switch. Activating the enhanced 3D scanner. Place the material wish to have scanned on the scanner portion of this machine. There you go. So yes, we're actually going to duplicate it on another piece of metal that can't be detected by these metal detectors. Transmission complete. Excellent. Put them away. And we can activate the switch. Yeah, let's get our gear back. And I'm just going to close that again. Right. And we can actually open this this time. Oh, I forgot that opened too. Get them both out of the way. Play so auto aim if you wanna, you know, lock on. Alright, who's not dead? Ah, 
I'll teach you. Alright, fire extinguisher. Let's go put on that fire where that briefcase was. Looks important. Oh, before I forget. Come around here. And grab a padlock key. And there they are. The dogs have made a return. Good old Cerberus. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Can't catch me. What's up, guys? Alright, so... I need to try and take some of you guys out. So I can get past to the... Are you dead? You're dead. Where's your friends? Ah, come on. I don't want to waste bullets. Last one. Excellent. That went perfect. I even managed to put the fire out without setting myself on fire like I usually do. Alright. Briefcase. I'm running out of inventory space. Check and open it. There we go. TGO1. There's also an explanation. Yeah. That'll just basically tell you this can't be detected by most metal detectors or something like that. So that's basically what we're going to use to create a copy of that Hawk emblem. So we can actually get through the metal detectors and to where it needs to go. Now, where are you guys hiding? Right, so you're just there. On past. Now we can actually use that padlock key here, so we don't have to keep running around the building. Just got the key. Also, needs me to deal with the dogs. Huzzah! Yay for shortcuts. Put them away and reactivate the thing. And once again, just activate that there. Throw that on there to get duplicated. Duplication complete. Excellent. Now, of course, I can't actually run anything through other than this. And you guys are still out there, suckers. Now I've been told that I need to keep that extinguisher. Didn't think I did, but apparently you do need to keep the extinguisher. Which is a shame, it needs more stuff for me to carry. Some more zombie dodging to do to get to the gate. 
after we get past the dogs, which I completely forgot about. Made it past. How? I don't know, because I literally couldn't see. <laughs> couldn't see myself behind the zombie. Can't believe I actually made that. Right. Shouldn't be too much further to a bloody save room. And an inventory box. More important. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I can pick them both up. Excellent. Go back and get them bullets as well. 68 plus 15 in the gun. Alright. Fair amount of ammo. Now oh, push it, Claire. Push the box. There you go. Up the stairs. Alright, how do I want to deal with this? You're dead. I think I've got the room knife this guy. Wow, you died easily. I'm going to take my chances. How did I miss? Your hat fell off by the way, mate. You dead? You dead. Excellent. And I'm still on fine. I'm going to take these out. They're annoying. There we go. Uh, I ain't got the space for that at the minute, so sod it. I'll grab it another time. There's also another green herb out here that I can't pick up. All this stuff. Not enough pockets. Alright. Welcome to the palace. Is it the palace? I... To be fair, to me it's a mansion. Blitz! Excellent, so I just got that back. Most of those bullets I just used. Apart from one. Alright, we do actually get a keycard very... Well, in like two seconds that would actually tell us the code for this. However, it's a very easy code to remember for me. First part is NTC. Which I remember because of NTSC. And then the number bit. All I gotta do is think of my birthday. Watch me get it wrong now. ID verification has been confirmed. I like this just unlock that door for us. I will actually show you where the keycard is. Just so you know I'm not cheating. Oh, oh wait I ain't got the imagery space. Never mind. Right, it's literally up here in this room, which is a safe room, yeah, and the keycard's literally just under there, you can see it flashing. Right, bullets, sod the books, sod the books, we want the bullets, 
thank you. Right. Do that. Ink ribbons. I need them, so I need to drop a save. Secretary's notes. I should read them, but yeah, well. All right, let's save our game. Save the game, Claire. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to start in save four, so I don't overwrite those other ones. Alright, and there you go. We made our first save room. We've made a fair amount of progress for the first half an hour when I'm not skipping cutscenes. But that'll do for this episode, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment, tell me what you think about the game, what you think about the controls, or what parts you're looking forward to in this Let's Play. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good day, everyone.